Uh, we used uh, this porous polymeric scaffold dubbed with uh, nanoparticles for the uh, research work devoted to uh, artificial tissue engineering. This scaffold is nothing but a supportive base for the future tissue. However, scientists do not rush to speculate about the sensations and the ability to grow tissue. Biologists at the University of Kazan study the properties of their material. The scaffold consisting of polymer blend and nanoparticles can be excellent cut. Moreover, it is also elastic. This is especially important to reconstruct several tissue types. A team of biologists managed to implant the scaffolds into rats. Scientists believe that this framework, doped with nanoparticles, is exceptionally promising and can be applied for the restoration of bone fractures and for human organs fabrication. This polymeric scaffold of these nanoparticles can be used in skin tissue engineering uh, uh, for skin uh, defects uh, regeneration and bone tissue engineering for regeneration of bone uh, failure and uh, uh, as a substance for the postoperative cavities filling. Uh, after the operation, uh, there are cavities uh, which can can be filled with this uh, porous uh, material uh, and uh, uh, this porous carcass can be used for the uh, different uh, uh, different cell cultures for the cultivation of artificial skin artificial bone uh, and artificial liver and so on. In addition to tissue engineering, researchers are also looking for new methods to assess the toxicity of nanomaterials. For instance, clay nanotubes have been delivered into the intestine of microscoping worm. During the experiments with natural halozyte nanotubes, the researchers study the cellular interactions with the nanotubes. How human cells uh, take these tubes up in a different way, so several types of cells uh, eagerly take them up and others uh, don't take them up at all. So we were thinking that uh, this feature can be used to fabricate uh, drug delivery vehicles because if certain types of cells uh, ingest these uh, nanotubes more effectively than others, so we can uh, take advantage of this and use this feature in delivery of drugs into certain types of cancer cells. At the same time, the results of Kazan researchers may be useful not only for those who use nanomaterials. Nanomaterials are currently widely used in industry. It is likely that this property of cells can be used as a new way of delivering medicine. We control the efficiency of the delivery. So, in other words, we can uh, administer drugs uh, depending on the appetite of the cells towards the clay nanotubes. So, uh, we do not uh, affect the drug itself. We affect how this drug is delivered into the cells.